Day 11 of asking for white and sticky challenge. Glue, NG, foam, farm, the insides of bananas are white, and hero is bent. Computer equals white and sticky. Hey, yo, what? I don't know, man. It doesn't look like his computer is all white and sticky, but I think I know what you're trying to say. <laughs> so I guess we're going to be using this extremely white and sticky strategy in today's video. And if you do enjoy, do not forget to drop a like. Wait. That actually sounded so weird. But if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe or else, actually, you, you don't want to know. And would you look at that? Our opponent's using biker bones? That is a Chad play because I swear I never, ever see anyone use biker bones. So big shout out to this guy. We're going to be probably starting off, I don't actually know, with probably an NG. We want this more towards the front of the map, but also towards the middle of the map. I don't know what I'm saying. Anyway, let's go over the oversized nails upgrade on this. With this, ideally, we should be able to fully, fully defend. And guys, one thing that's really lacking with a strategy like this is our decamo or just camo defenses in general. Yes, we can decamo with the foam. <laughs> but the foam is not that reliable of a decamo as you think. And even with the double guns, we're not able to fully defend. Are you, are you for real, bro? Are you for real, bro? Okay. Bomb makes sense. Definitely makes sense. I still have not went for Benjamin, though, with his little sticky computer. Wonder how that happened. But we got him down here finally now. I don't know, man. Like, is double guns the play for these earlier game rounds? I don't know. Like, NG sucks as a starting tower, bro. So that's why, like, I still have yet to even go for my first farm. Although, technically, Benjamin could be looked at as a farm. Let's go for the sentry guns and stuff. Oh, my goodness, man. I mean, hey, at least he's also struggling. Down to 51 lives. So... Not a good look for him at all. It's probably because his cluster bomb, it seems like it's in a good spot, though. So that's why I'm kind of confused, okay? But let's finally go for our first farm here. Yeah, before the sort of round five, beautiful. Okay, now we cannot fully defend against this, though, can we? Don't think so. Oh, we could have went for a glue, too. Maybe a glue would have been better. Okay, tower boost. Wow. You were just purely equaling. What happened to that, bro? What happened to that, bro? Okay, yep, there are the group greens now. Come on now. I, I thought he was going to send me group greens, so, like, I wasn't as scared. But, yep, space black balloons here. Okay, want to upgrade this probably to the top path. Continue on setting space whites. Wow, yeah, this strategy is pretty white and pretty sticky, but not pretty good. It's just, like, we don't have a solid starting tower, though. Like, glue, too. Like, I mean, we could have maybe used the glue, but that would have been quite expensive as well. Okay, pin on this, too. Just leak the lives then. Oh, no, boys. Power boost. No. No, this strategy sucks, bro. Okay, let's create for another farm here. Ah, oh, okay. I did not get it before the start of this round. It's all good, though. I honestly think with, like, this, all these freaking sentry guns, I still don't think we can fully defend against Space Blacks, and I'm not even trolling, bro. That's how bad the freaking NG is early game. But once we get to the mid-game rounds, once we get the sentry expert... We're going to be full, full vibing. And no, I'm not going to be going for any more farms. Because, again, view Benjamin as a farm. Because that's essentially what he is. Oh, yeah, we can regen our lives, too, with having Benjamin. So it doesn't even matter that we leaked here. Completely forgot about that. Okay, so, yeah. I'm still sending Space Whites. I'm playing the safe. Let's actually sell you, though. Century Expert here, finally. Beautiful. But now we're going to have to go for a decamo. NG, which I'll have more up here. Oh, shoot. I'm sending grouped whites. Oh, my gosh. I'm actually throwing. I am actually throwing. Okay. Cleansy foam here. Beautiful. He's got village. Makes sense. Makes a lot of sense. What's his third and final tower, though? That is truly the question of all time. I'm going to cross path this with the bottom path to get that increase of pierce out of the cleansing foam itself. So that's a little bit more better. That didn't make sense, but you get what I mean. But it's going to decamo more consistently is what I meant to say, okay? But we probably should have even a double one of these. Like, I'm actually that scared because, like, our hero can't help us out against Camel Balloons. So, like, if he's just sending us constant eco, that could, like, overtake the foam. And then if he, like, layers properly, you know, some camos could get through. I don't freaking know, man. So let's just play it safe here. And on top of that, I think we should just completely stop ecoing here and go for a balloon trap for these AI balloons ASAP. Now, balloon traps only make money from AI balloons, not player sent. But on a map like Mayan, the paths are split from the player sent balloons versus the AI balloons. So when we go for this balloon trap right here, this balloon trap will be able to eat up only AI balloons. Thus, it can maximize its 
money making abilities. Bro, I'm like just not on it today. And brother is just spamming bombs over on his side. I want to see your third and final tower, bro. Like, and obviously, if you're going to go for that many bombs, I'm obviously not going to rush you. <laughs> like, this dude really thinks that I'm going to rush him after he just set down five bombs. Ain't no freaking way. That would not be worth it for me at all. Oh, yeah. Let me go for a banana farmer, by the way. One, it can auto-collect all of our bananas for us. But two, it can also auto-collect the balloon trap. Fun fact which will be super, super helpful. Let's cross path that as well with the top hat, just so the balloon trap itself spawns back a bit quicker. Round 18 already. See, even a fortified mob wouldn't be worth it. He has three mob ballers already. Like, see, the thing is too, like pre-buying all that defense, like he knows he's going to be good, right? But that's taken away from your eco game. Wouldn't you rather greed in regards to your eco game so that in the long run you have more money? You know what I'm saying? Like this guy, he could have forced me to spend money to send him a rush to force then the upgrades over on his side. But rather, I didn't have to spend a dollar on doing any of that. So now I can greed in regards to my farm game. Hopefully that all kind of sort of makes sense. I think he's going to go for the top path upgrades too, since bomb is a primary tower. Let's go for van plantation. You know what I just thought about? Why or how is the bomb a primary tower when the military category exists? That actually makes zero sense. Okay, round 20 is here. Let's transition into Pink Eagle, by the way. I know, pretty late on doing that. Benjamin hacked that down for us. Okay, so surely we can defend against that, right? I'm going to go for, actually, though, another one of these right here. Okay, go with the middle cross path on that. I mean... Okay, that was a little scary. Oh, no. Okay, decam all that. Beautiful. See, just those two even? That's crazy. Okay, I'll go for you all the way up there. Beautiful. Put your foam all over that balloon trap for me. And then I'm going to go for a banana farm all the way down here. Maybe we should hit like 3k eco. Even though like we have been popping the balloons immediately. So it's probably not super, super smart. But at this point, screw it. We'll keep this other sentry expert here too. Just because why not? His final tower has got to be a tower that regens his lives. Like, I'm just so certain of it. Because he still has yet to even reveal it. I guess he didn't have, like, a valid reason to even put it down, though. But if that's the case, though, then he's going to be able to regen his lives. We can go past round 40. I don't want to take this strategy to round 40, guys. Come on, now. Okay, can we go for this farm here? If we, like, sell, like, everything? Yep. Okay. We are good. Oh, I didn't overclock it. Shoot. Okay, a little too late on that. Gotta make sure we're fine here. I don't have, like, any decamo, bro. Oh, no. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Okay. Pop that all down for me. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. Dude, why are we doing so bad? Is there a reason? Like, what? What? what is the reason, bro? Let's go for this. I'll probably need Century Champion, honestly, at this point. Okay. Surely I don't die with Century Champion, right? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I love the Engineer. Yeah, I forgot to overclock this before the start of the round because I would have gotten an extra $5,000 for doing so. At this point, we probably should reveal that we have the glue. Oh, shoot. I don't know if it was overclocked or not. I hope it wasn't. But we should probably have a glue for GDT purposes. Still never revealed his third and final tower, bro. I kind of just want to all out this guy. Because he hasn't sent me a single rush this entire game, bro. So I want to show you guys what happens when you do that. And then you over defend. Because, dude, this guy simply cannot defend extra 5k right there. Beautiful. Sell, sell. Go for the B central here. Now we're going to overclock that once we can. I know, dude. Like... I kind of have just like my setup all over the place, but it's fine. Overclocked you. Beautiful. I think it might have been better if I would have went for the super glue because the super glue can just like stall all this AI even for me. You know what I mean? So probably would have been a bit better. So this is overclocked. We definitely want to make sure that both of those are overclocked before the start of round 30 because round 30 is a round to where there's only one balloon 
one BFB. And so you get all your bananas from all your farms all at once, which is very, very nice. Uh, but he's not currently ecoing, so... Oh, shoot. I don't even care. Uh, <laughs> how to sell that, bro? I'm selling, chat. I am selling, but I wanted to overclock it before the start of the round. Oh, shoot. Overclock you. Okay, they're still overclocked. Get an extra 15k, right? Beautiful. Okay, so I will probably just all out him now. What the heck? Why, the, why does the glue look like that? Why is it so dark? Oh my gosh, you should go see a doctor or something. But I think at the start of round 32, we're going to start to all out this guy, okay? I don't care if you can go for a homeland defense and whatnot. It does not matter. We just have too much freaking money, and he's going to have to micro it and whatnot. Oh my goodness, this round's taking forever to end. Hopefully, these stay overclocked. Please. Okay, yeah, we're good. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. First fortified VED. You can't even tell it's fortified. Because there's like a mob glitch right now. Oh, that kind of sucks for him. He's probably thinking, oh, this is easy collapse. Unfortified mob. <laughs> but no, that is not the case. Oh, shit, I should have overclocked. Nah, okay, whatever. I forgot round 32 is like super, super short. But bro, this white and sticky strategy can make some money. Am I right, ladies and gentlemen? Holy crap, we still have a lot of money to go. And yes, we are sending these all space. He's probably going to try to use level 10, homeland defense. Still never revealed his third and final tower. I'm telling you, it was something that could regen his lives. I'm very confident in that. But like, look, I still haven't ran out of money, bro. Overclock, overclock. Okay, boom. Got extra money there. Like, look at this. He stood, he stood no chance, guys. He didn't even try to counter. Did he even go for a homeland? Like, look at this. We actually made an absurd amount of money. Oh my, sell everything. I'm so confident, I don't even care. You're not even gonna try to counter. That's how confident I am, baby. Okay, well, I did I did keep the super glue in case you wanted to counter with DDTs. But yeah, the strategy's OP. I just think it lacks damage, but definitely can make a lot of money with it. But let's play another. All right, he has Highwayman Jericho. That hurts my soul. You want to know why it hurts my soul? Well, let me tell you. We have a lack of camera detection with this strategy, and uh, he's going to balloon adjust the AI balloons, making everything 10 times harder. He's also going to be stealing our money. He can send cheaper rushes. He can do just a lot of good things for him and not so good things for us. So I'm not too excited for this one, but it's a challenge in itself, I guess. So I guess that makes things a little bit more exciting. He was not able to go for a round one Highwayman Jericho either. And, uh, yeah, we're going to be leaking some lives here. But do remember that Benjamin can regenerate our lives, so it's really not that big of a deal. And I'm going to go for Benjamin all the way up here in the corner where the Discord mod belongs. All right, but we're going to upgrade this probably to a double guns here. Yeah, I think. I just want to play this safe here. You guys saw in the last game, the Engineer is not the best starting tower. So maybe we should try something a little bit different as well. You know what? I'm kind of down for that. Oh, are we fine against Space Yellows when the NG shoots like this? Dude, it looks like it. Bad, bro. Bad, 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 bad. But maybe not against Space Pinks. Maybe not. But I still would like to greed here. Four farm. So we're going to do that anyway. For the lows and the trolls. Dude, the glue only costs $100. Remember this. Okay, so I guess I'm going to go then for a glue all the way down here. I'm going to set you the last. Because like I said, I want to try something a little bit different than the last game. And it's looking like we have a pretty decent setup at the moment. Maybe we shouldn't greed for a farm upgrade. Probably not. Let's let's go for a 110 glue. Kinda would like to go for the glue splatter. So that it can glue a lot of balloons. Super! Oh heck no. Now, if you're not using a door, then nine times out of ten, you do not want to go for an early game super monkey. Just saying. Uh let's go for that glue splatter. Because these balloons are starting to push past our engineer a little bit. Thankfully, he, for whatever reason, is still only setting us space yellow. So, like, we're kind of sort of good. And, hmm, cursor. Yeah. Because although we're gluing these balloons down, the double gun still needs a little bit of help to actually pop everything down. Maybe I should go for my next NG. Oh, shoot. Towers. Oh, my gosh, bro. Even with the glue helping you, bro. Putting its stickiness all over the balloons. You still need help, Benji? Come on now. Yeah, just steal my money too. Why don't you? 
Why don't you just do everything, Matt? Okay, I went for another oversized nails upgrade here. This is set to last. It's gluing down every single space white for us, which, of course, is good. And you know what? Since he has high wind man Jericho, it's okay that uh, we have a banana farmer. So I am going to go for a banana farmer all the way up there just so I don't have to worry about auto-collecting all these bananas and two for our balloon traps as well. We're going to be able to go for this banana plantation here, which is really good because, again, view Benjamin as a farm. So we essentially have a banana plantation and a 2 0, zero farm right here. That's kind of how I view Benjamin, but he gets better and better over time. Round 9 is here. Ah, uh, yeah. Balloon adjustment. Okay. Hmm. Hmm. Um, well, I kind of... I kind of want to sell you, actually. You know what? Yeah, let me let me go for a sprockets here. Oh wait, we like we cannot leak very many lives here. Shoot. Okay, we're good here. All right, this is this is kind of bad, boys. I can't lie. I'm just gonna straight up not eco here. Look at this, bro. What are you? Stop! Stop it, bro. Why are you sending all these balloons? I'm literally gonna die here. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Even with a tower boost, I'm I'm freaking terrified here. I literally have gotta go for so many cleansing foams, it's not even funny. It's not even funny, chat. So I'm gonna go for at least two. That's probably not gonna be enough. Let me send at least a few sets of space rails. <laughs> what is this game? I mean, he wasn't like really effectively equaling at all. So I guess we got that going for us. But I am straight up. I'm going for another one of these. Wait. Whoa, wait, wait. We should have a balloon trap. I'm so dumb. Okay. Let's go for a balloon trap. All the way up here. AI led balloons here. Oh my gosh. Look, those camo balloons are getting through. You're a How? Don't tell me that dies. Bro, like, are you with three cleansing foams? You've got to be kidding me, bro. Oh, did it. What the? Tower boost! I'm... Oh, my tower boost are gone. Bro, this strategy sucks. Oh, my goodness. Get this balloon trap. Please. Just give me a little bit more money. <laughs> I haven't ecoed at all, bro. <laughs> this is so pathetic, bro. Come on now. All right. We're going to go for, I guess, a cleansing foam. A fourth cleansing foam, mind you. All the way up here. Could I have played this better? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. But, like, this is still... So ridiculous, bro. This is why having reliable cam detection is so unbelievably important. It's insane if you think about it, okay? But I, I think, honestly, screw the eco still. I'm going to go for another balloon trap up here because I want to make all this money from all the balloon-adjusted AI balloons. That's the one kind of good thing that we got going for us with having uh, the balloon traps and the engineers in general. Let's go for... Okay, come on. I keep on clicking accidentally on a sentry gun. Okay. Cross path, both of those as well with the top hat. Okay. Now, oh, it's sold our glue. Of course. Of course it sold our glue. Thank you. This is unreal. <laughs> Literally unreal. At least he has not been equaling. Okay. I wanted to get center rush this game, but like I highly doubt that happens. We could technically take this game around 40. Would that be smart? Obviously not. So that is where we're currently at. Okay. Here comes some... Constant group whites here. Purples. I'm going to sell you to go for another balloon trap. Believe it or not. Oh, shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. Um, oh, my gosh. I messed up the placement, bro. I did not mean to do that, bro. Okay. Just get this up here. Sell you. I can't even go for another balloon trap up here. Unless I go for, like, the middle path. Yeah. So I can target it. Okay, are we fine here, chat? Oh, no. Please, 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 please. Oh, my goodness, boys. Crazy, crazy stuff, man. I don't even, like, I have no, like, words to say. Because I know I have not played this game well. But, like, what can I do with this strategy? I literally have to over defend like crazy. Mind you, if he sent me like constant camo purples, I guarantee they would get through these two cleansing foams right here. Of course. Wait, did I not target this one? Oh, I didn't target you. What? Get up there. Okay, ZOMG here. How do I defend against a ZOMG? 
I, I'm not even trolling. I, I, I just straight up want to go for a super glue. <laughs> like, I straight up want to go for a super glue, bro. Purples. Okay, surely we're fine against that. Okay, I know, like, it would have been better for us to go for that sooner. But it's okay. Oh my freaking goodness, bro. No worries. Okay, how many balloon traps do we have? Do we have four balloon traps or three? Three balloon traps up there. Okay. So with getting this super glue, I'm going to sell probably honestly both of these because I'd rather have the middle cross path anyway. So this is this is just crazy. <laughs> this is just crazy, boys. So sell, 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 super glue. That's going to be able to stun that for me. But I still have got to actually pop it down, right? So that's the that's the problem that we're currently running into here, okay? So I might also have to go for like maybe down here more. This. I'm not sure what the heck I'm gonna do here. This is really, really bad. Okay, wait. This is really, really bad. I don't even have a tower boost. Oh my goodness. Oh, guys. <laughs> As a wise man once said, a defend is a defend. I don't freaking care, bro. Oh my God, this strategy is horrible, man. It's freaking, it's so bad. Okay, round 26 is here. You can't send me DDTs. The ZOMG is not gonna work either. I don't freaking care, brother. I could probably win this game. No, I definitely could win this game right here, right now, but I wanna take it later. I don't care, bro. I can't. I actually want to keep this, the balloon solver. <laughs> like, I honestly think that we need it. <laughs> Crazy stuff. Okay. We're also going to need a little bit of better camo detection. So, let me go for another cleansing foam. Target you. I just need to sell them so that I had enough money to go for the balloon solver. But don't sleep on the glue and its stickiness, guys. I mean, the wonderful thing about the glue is that you have all different types of stickiness. Super glue. Your stickiness is going to be super, super strong. The balloon solver. Your glue is going to be toxic, so you might want to get that checked by a doctor, but still, very valid. And then finally, the glue storm. Now, I haven't even shown you guys the glue storm. Now, we can show you guys at least the glue strike, and we can do this. And as you see, it, the glue strike, glue storm, it just likes to throw its glue all over you, which is just so amazing. It shoots all over you, man. Yeah, just steal my... Dude. I can't. I can't with this guy. I actually, like... <laughs> trying to rebuild farms, man. I mean, I have one BRF in the round 29, man, okay? This game was tough for me. And he just freaking uses level 3 ability and auto-sells the farm that was placing down. <laughs> like, this game is unreal right now, man. And I don't even... Oh, my God. I have 1,300 eco, too. That is so freaking pathetic. Okay. If he sends me a BAD, I kind of want to try to defend... Although, obviously, it's not smart. But who cares, man? That would, that would be pretty cool if we could defend. So I'm going to hit him with the come at me emo. At least you got the Prince of Darkness, my friend. I guess I can give you that. Is he sending me camo regen blacks? What? And pinks? I'm so confused right now. What is what is happening? Oh, it's like... It's like modifying his balloons, I believe. Highway Man Jericho. Yeah. Another annoying thing about him. He's rushing me! Just get this now. Get that right here, right now, bro. And I also want to go for an overclock. So I honestly might just sell this. I'm kind of waiting for round 31 to end. Okay, whatever. I don't have a tower boost. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Okay, all we have to do is pop up the Slayer, and then we're good. Oh, yeah. Let's go for Glue Storm 2. So I guess I'm going to sell you guys. Okay. That's all the range is, bro? I can't even tell how much damage I've done. Oh my gosh, bro. This is so pathetic, bro. This strategy, it's not the best at popping down balloons. I can't lie to y'all. Oh, shoot. That was my overclock. I thought it was the other one. Okay, do it. Chat, do I just... Guys, I think I just, um... Kill him. Yeah. Okay, don't pop. Don't pop. <gasps> Super glue! Yes! Yes!
no, Silver took the tank. I couldn't even tell it was about to pop it. I thought I was even close to popping it because of the stupid mob skin. Oh my goodness. This is why the glue and stickiness is so amazing, man. Oh my god. But if you guys did enjoy, do not forget to drop a like. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button. But also, don't forget to check out this video where this balloon strategy is cursed. See ya!